Yes, very good morning, students. This is chapter number eight, subject verb agreement. This video is for grade fifth, and it is on page number one eighty six in your BBC. So let's start essay two syllabus. The topic is subject verb agreement. So to understand this topic, let's study what is a subject first. The subject of a sentence is the person or thing doing action or being described. So what is the subject in a sentence? it's the person or thing doing some action okay doing some action or being described so that is a subject every sentence must have a verb or every verb must have a subject right so means these are the important parts your mandatory part of a sentence it is important that a verb must agree with its subjects and in person and number to make a correct sentence what it says so what do you understand by subject verb agreement it says that the verb should agree with the given subject in a sentence that is agreement okay that is subject verb agreement means verb should be used according to the given subject if the verb is plural yeah you can say the subject is plural the verb will be plural or vice versa if the subject will be singular the verb will be singular so there are many rules let's study one by one rule first rule first of subject verb in agreement says that if the subject is singular we need a singular verb to write a correct sentence the way i have said you like for example he writes well here look at the subject subject is he according if he is used for a singular person right so according to the singular subject we have written the verb called writes and writes is a singular verb and this is adjective he writes well he writes well so here according to the subject we have used the singular verb let's take another example like she has all the sandwiches now here let's mark the subject she is the subject and she is a singular subject and that's why we have used has that is used for singular subject has a singular verb i hope this first rule is clear to you that says that if the subject is singular the verb will also be singular right and why is the verb so what it says if the subject is plural we need a plural verb to write a correct sentence let's go with an example we are good student yeah we are good children Up here look at the subject we we means the subject is plural and according to the plural subject we have to mark what kind of verb the plural verb that's why we have not used is we have used are that denotes that we have used the verb according to the given subject means subject is plural the verb will be plural let's make another example those bikes have bells now here those bikes plural subject we talking about right so according to plural subject we've used have have is used for for plural subject okay i hope it is clear let's do the second rule rule second says when the subject of a sentence is composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and we use a plural verb what says that ki agar ek sentence mein beta सेंटेंस में जो नाउन मीन सब्जेक्ट है वो प्लूरल है या तो वो नाउन हो सकता है या प्रोनाउन हो सकता है ठीक है मीन सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल एंड इज जॉइंड बाय एंड कंजक्शन सो द वर्ब विल बी प्लूरल लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल नेहा एंड हर फ्रेंड्स आर एट द फेयर हेयर देखिए नेहा इज वन सब्जेक्ट हर फ्रेंड्स इज द सेकेंड सब्जेक्ट एंड द कनेक्टेड विद एंड सो मीन्स Neha and her friends. Plural subject. Two nouns are there, right? One noun is there. Here, her friends. The noun is there. This is her friends. Means noun. Two nouns are joined with and. Subject is plural. That's why we used verb as plural, right? So let's go with rule number three also. When two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or nor, we use a singular verb. It says that. means if the subject is plural how it is plural the same concept they jo joined means nouns or pronouns are given they are joined with not and but 
or or nor or or nor then we are going to use a singular verb for example the book or the pen is in the drawer here the book or the pen dono mein se ek koi drawer mein hai theek hai na bete to yahan pe humne kya use kiya verb is the book or the pen is in the drawer uh thank you so much next we will do in the next video thank you so much